Double angle identities. In this video we are going to discuss how to derive the formulas of double angle identities. From the sum of two angles identity we have cosine A plus B is equal to cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B. But if the two angles are equal or angle A is equal to B, then cosine A plus B becomes cosine A plus A, which is equal to cosine A cosine A minus sine A sine A. Simplifying we have cosine 2A is equal to cosine squared A minus sine squared A. Cosine 2A means angle A is doubled. We can simplify this more using Pythagorean theorem. First for sine, we have cosine 2A is equal to cosine squared A minus 1 minus cosine squared A. So it's equal to cosine squared A minus 1 plus cosine squared A. Combining cosine squared A, we have cosine 2A is equal to 2 cosine squared A minus 1, as the final identity. We can also simplify this for cosine as cosine 2A is equal to 1 minus sine squared A minus sine squared A. So this is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared A. From sum of two angles identity for sine, we have sine A plus B is equal to sine A cosine A plus sine B cosine B. But if A is equal to B, then this becomes sine A plus A, which is equal to sine A cosine A plus sine A cosine A. Simplifying we have sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cosine a. This means that if you double the angle, the sine value of the double angle is equal to the double of the product of sine and cosine of that angle. From the sum of two angles identity, tangent a plus b is equal to tangent a plus tangent b over 1 minus tangent a tangent b. But if a is equal to b, then tangent a plus a is equal to tangent a plus tangent a over 1 minus tangent a tangent a. Simplifying we have tangent 2a is equal to 2 tangent a over 1 minus tangent squared a. These are the derivations of the double angle identities. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for future videos and like, share.